Hey everyone, what's going on? Welcome back to the channel. There are very exciting things happening in the CNC world. Easel by Inventables, which is the program I use primarily for my CNC to create my files and send over the G-code. They have now upgraded their software to allow you to do 3D carves at no additional cost. I'll say that again, at no additional cost. This is awesome. This is going to open up a whole new world of carving and you don't have to go out and purchase an expensive program. You can just use the program you've been using if you have been using Easel and if you've been on the fence about what program you want to stick with or if you've been thinking about possibly changing, now's the time. You can do 3D carves in Easel for no additional cost. So Easel has made this very easy to work with these 3D files. All you need to do is import it. So you come down over here on your left side Right there to where it says import 3D STL. Come up here to browse, scroll, and you have to make sure that your file is under one mag. So that's this one right here. So I'll open that. And now you can see everything is completely changed about Easel. It doesn't look anything like you're used to, but that's not a problem. What you can do, you can zoom in and there is the imported file. This particular file has this background piece uh, integrated in with the design. I like to the way that that looked. So you're going to start off the same way you always do. You're going to set up your piece of wood here. Mine is three quarters of an inch thick. And 12 by 8 is fine. So now if you slide this up like this, the green, that represents your workpiece. So if you check this out, this skull is way over the workpiece. So you come over here to the right side and you can see my Z, which is going to be your thickness, is set for one and a half. So that's not going to fit because the piece I'm using in is popular and that's only three quarters of an inch thick. So to get around that, just highlight your Z, change your thickness. And now you can see it falls just underneath this green line. So now everything in here will be carved. Now you can start to play around a little bit more with these menus on the right side and get this exactly how you want. If you don't want this backer board here and you want just the skull. So if you don't want this backer piece here and come over to your Z and you can input a negative number here. We'll call it a quarter of an inch. And now you can see that back piece is gone. It's no longer there. So now all you're going to get cut out is the skull. So because we essentially took this whole piece and we moved it down in the world, essentially to a negative. Now the, the skull is here. You can see we've got some clearance here between the nose and the top of our workpiece. So we can actually make this skull thicker. So if we come over to one inch, now you can see we're just touching the top of our material and that's perfect. And then from the top, you can see we've got just the skull cut out. So now once you have it close to what you think you want it, I actually want this back piece as part of my cut. So I'm going to change this back to three quarters of an inch, change my Z back to zero. That's what I want right there. And you can see now it's imported the final picture of this here with the background piece. So now you can come up here to your cut settings. They've got these set really slow. You can play around with this, get it exactly how you want it. Whatever you feel like you want to do. This finishing pass is going to be quite quick. I can move this thing quick because it's only taken off a small amount. So once you play with those and you get those roughly to where you want them to be, you can hit generate tool paths. This might take a couple seconds, 10 seconds, 15 seconds, depending on your computer. There we go. It has finished generating all the tool paths. You can click here, show preview, and this is going to show you exactly what you're getting. So if you put in a board here, that's 12 by eight, you're going to get a recess right down here in the middle. And that's going to be the skull cut out here. So then if you hit play, you can see what this is going to do. 
So now it's just going to jog around. It's going to end up hogging out a whole bunch of this material here. And that's fine. You're going to be left with a pretty rough looking piece, but that's just your roughing bit. That's not a problem. Then you can click down here to show finishing. And now it's actually going to show you what it's going to run here on your finish. So it's going to go through and it's going to cut all of this out. And then when it gets to the skull, it's going to actually jump up and over. That's going to give you your 3D effect. So this is pretty much exactly what I want. I might jog this over here to the bottom left corner. You can come over here to the right side to position. And I'm going to set this zero. How about zero? Zero, zero. And that's pretty much what I want right there. So I'm going to set this up. When you cut these, you're going to use a flat quarter inch end mill and that's going to hog out the majority of the material. Then you're going to switch over to a finishing bit. It's got to be a ball nose bit. That's what gives you that great detail. The smaller the bit, the more detail. So I'm going to input an eighth inch ball nose. And we're going to see how this works out. Uh, this is the first time doing this. I think this is going to work just fine. Fingers crossed. This is the carve right off the CNC. This looks awesome. There is absolutely no sanding done to this yet. I might hit it with maybe some 120, but I don't really think it's needed. I think something like this, this is about a foot away from my camera. I think it looks fantastic. So I might just sand the background just a little bit there just to kind of fix that up a little bit, trim that top, but very, very minor details here that need to be done to get this thing looking 100% fully finished. What Easel did adding this to their software is awesome. You don't have to buy any extra programs and you can end up with a cool project like this. I think it is a overwhelming success. I think it looks great. I will touch this up and I will show you guys the finished product. And here is the finished product. I absolutely love this. I took about, I don't know, half a minute and I sanded this real lightly. You, you probably don't even have to do that. But I squared up the edges around here and I put a coat of tongue oil on here. And this thing just looks awesome. The tongue oil gives this poplar and all the different graining some depth and some detail. This was incredibly easy. Again, I wanted to have this backer piece on here. I didn't want this skull to be free. But if you wanted to make this skull stand up a little bit taller you could erase this backer board here and then your skull would actually come up just just a little bit higher probably about a quarter inch that would give you even more detail thanks to easel for upgrading this software this is a heck of a bang for your buck here guys um, these other programs like aspire and all those those are pretty expensive maybe you can do more with that software 
Um, I know with Easel in here, all you can really do is import a file. You can't really adjust it. You can't work on it at all. So this file either has to be designed by you in another program, or you need to just purchase the file, which is what I did. Very easy carve here. This is awesome. This is gonna open up a whole new world of possibilities with work pieces and projects and products, gifts for people. I'm excited to see what's going to happen. If you guys enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up and a subscribe. And until next time, take it easy. One small thing I wanted to add here. Uh, this one here is not very big. This is only about five and a quarter by seven and a quarter. But the roughing part of this took about 40, 45 minutes. And then the finishing, that took me almost four hours. So these do take a long time. Uh, you do get pretty exceptional detail. You can actually see the detail in there on like the eyebrows and whatnot, or where the eyebrows would be. If you set your file up so that you don't have this background piece and it's just the skull, it would probably cut your carve time in half. So as you saw in the video, it actually ran over this entire piece with that ball nose bit. So that took quite a long time. You figure you've got all of this. So if you cut that out of there and you're doing just the skull, you could probably get around, I don't know, probably call it half an hour on the rough. And then your finish pass would probably be two hours, maybe less. So about two and a half hours for just the skull. But because I wanted this background piece, I'm coming in at about four and a half, maybe almost five hours. It's definitely worth it though, especially if you have someone in your life that you have the perfect project for. Might as well take the time, set it up correctly, let the CNC do all your work, and hand it off.